Uh, all right, so uh, this is the last section of the chapter, so there is a test coming up. I know. Uh, but it will not be Friday. No more. All right. Uh, but maybe next Tuesday. Um, so one of the ways that you see exponential functions sometimes is when you are dealing with money. Money, yes. And so hopefully you kind of recognize the structure of this formula <laughs> a little bit. Uh, this P right there, we used to call in the general form of the exponential equation, we had at Y equals A times B to the X, like that. And the A was the initial amount, right? And so this right here is called the principal. That's the amount <coughs> that you would have to start with. Then the base right here, remember we talked about uh, if that is going to be uh, exponential growth, what has to be true about the base? bigger than one, and so that's why this is one plus this stuff right here, and then you're raising it to the uh, power here because it depends on how long you leave it in for. Um, so this is the interest rate in as a decimal, and then this is the number of times that you put interest into the account every year. So what are the fun words that go with that? Do you remember? I'll give you the first one. Annually means what? Once a year. Uh, only if you don't know it right now. Uh, yeah, so compounded annually means once a year. What's another thing that they would do? Quarterly. Quarterly. Very nice. Still hate you though. <laughs> Quarterly is, of course, four times a year. Okay? And then you have daily, monthly, bi-annually, that's a weird one. Yeah, you don't usually do uh, tri-annually, I don't know why. Okay, yeah, maybe throw three in there, it's like that. Um, okay, and then like I said, daily, monthly, and obviously daily is 365 times monthly is 12, and so forth. Um, and then there's another one that we will talk about, not today, called continuously, um, where they're compounding, they're adding interest continuously, which is a weird concept that I don't really understand, like they're always doing it. Uh, and that uses the magic number E. So that's a little bit different formula that we will talk about uh, perhaps never tomorrow, or perhaps never, you're right. Oh yes, yeah, so you probably won't have a test on Tuesday because we'll have to finish the section as well. So never mind. Um, okay, so let's do a couple of examples. Let's say you invest five hundred dollars at seven percent interest, and it is compounded uh, annual. How much will you have in 10 years? And um, just so you know, interest rates right now are historically low. Uh, we have some stuff invested, and you would be lucky to get 1% interest right now just from the account. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because, uh, I mean, that's good and bad. That means that borrowing money is really cheap also. So we refinanced our uh, mortgage for really, really low interest rate, 3 point something percent. Um, but you're not going to get any money from giving it to the bank either because they're not getting any money from lending it to people. So they kind of go hand in hand. Yeah. So anyway. Huh? <laughs> All right, so uh, write that one up for me. Okay. So A equals 500. Right, 500 because that's our starting amount. Wait, why is A Because A is the answer. A is the amount that you oh, have. Okay. Uh, you're saying that A is oh, no, no, no. I'm just filling in the blanks in the formula. So 500, one, one plus. 
0 0.07, move it over two places, divided by? Uh, 10? Nope, how many times a year do they put one. Oh, one. one. So you don't really need that because it's not going to change yeah. it, but we'll just put it in there so you're not confused. Uh, to the what? 10. 10, Ten. years one. times once a year. Yep, so you just uh, crank that into the calculator. Lost to Elmo last night. You did? No, I should said that we did. <coughs> we had we had the big stage one of the big battle against uh, the she Peter and Shahalis. Did you win? We did. Yeah, they cheated, they made a good team and a not as good. I think three, four, five, seven, three, seven, three, seven, seven, three, seven, 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 so we're always going to round to the two decimal places, okay? Um, so make sure you got that. Um, you haven't seen that move. Uh, we're going to invest $500, 9%, which is totally not a real thing. Compounded monthly, how much do you have in five years? Six. 
Uh, what do I do to get the x to get the variable out of the exponent? I log both sides. I'm going to log over here, or you can natural log if you want to. It works out the same. So if I log both sides. Now I can write it as log of 6 equals, move that in front, 12t times the log of 1, 1 plus 0 0.09 over 12. Yeah, and I'm going to divide it by the whole thing at the same time because I am just that crazy. So I'm going to divide both sides by 12. 12 log 1 plus 0 0.09 divided by 12. Yep, you can, as long as you use parentheses on your calculator. So this 12 cancels with that 12, this log stuff cancels with that stuff, and what you're left with is t equals log of 6 divided by all that. And like I said, when you do this on the calculator, you just have to make sure you put this whole thing in the bottom in parentheses. So you have log 6 divided by parentheses, 12 log parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.09 divided by 12 parentheses, parentheses. Okay. And if you do that correctly, you should get okay. 12 log. So it's log minus, no, log 6 divided by parentheses, 12 log. Oh yeah, because you get a parentheses around the cells too, don't you? So you get a, yeah. I get it, but I can't follow my Okay, let me show you then. I'll show you where to put the parentheses. I got it. Uh, yeah, so we are going log 6. I forgot parentheses would show up automatically there, so you have to close those. Divided by... Parentheses. Twelve. You don't have to. Log twelve. Log one plus point oh nine divided by twelve. Parentheses. Parentheses. Enter. About twenty years. Twenty years. Yep. T is in years. Oh. It'll take you about 20 years at 9% interest, which again, you will never get. No, not even the stock market. The stock market, you can count on maybe 5 or 6%. That would be a heck of an investment. I need. What about the CDs? Did you put it in the CD? No, that's what we have. Uh, we have a CD, and it's, I think it's less than 1%. Why is that really? I thought CDs were meant to have like. That's ridiculous. Oh, yeah, just say. Divided by parentheses 12 log 12 log 